What is going on guys? This is Ben here. We are once again going to be on my level one Benton one Gemmer account. Definitely leave a like if you guys enjoy this account and everything. Uh, sadly, you are going to see in the gameplay that I'm showing right here a Night Witch being opened on my level one account. Um, and sadly, you're not going to get my live reaction because while I was recording this, uh, my first run at it, my my face cam and my audio crashed. So all you have is the, uh, the gameplay here. That one did not crash. So at least I have that for you because otherwise it would be kind of like I, I, I just have the Night Witch and say it like that. But sadly, you don't get my live reaction. And as you guys know... I go pretty crazy when good stuff happens or stuff that I like, I get. Um, so yeah, all you have to know is I was, I was kind of freaking out getting the Night Witch. And then I saw my stuff wasn't recording and I was like, are you serious? So that kind of sucks. But the rest of the video is still, it's, the rest of the video is still crazy. So you are going to see a lot of excitement, a lot of, uh, a lot of ups and downs in the video. But it's really, really cool, um, I think, uh, to see what happened throughout the rest of the video. So stay tuned for that. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe and let me know if you guys love seeing the level one account and the big chest openings and everything like that but other than that hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll let you guys watch the rest but dude we regardless we got the night witch and it's actually later in the day since i recorded those segments uh, I, I had a graduation to go to and everything so now we are going to see how the night witch performs in the battle deck uh, I really don't know if it's going to mesh well with what I have, but we'll see. I just want to test it out. Maybe I'll have to change the battle deck in a little bit. And I have a lot of free chests open too. I'm at 2734 as well. I will put on some game sound. Uh, you guys may not think it, but game sound helps out a bunch. Oh, I just hit my hit my desk there with my knee. But uh, yeah, game sound helps, helps a bunch. I, and I say this all the time. So, oof, oof, oof. A lot of people do this right off the start is do like these big opening pushes and I didn't have my princess to stop it So I had to do tornado with the electric wizard. Maybe it was a little overkill. I don't know But dude like level 10s if I don't have the correct cards like to deal with wave troops Basically, they can run over me right away uh, and it kind of sucks. So I might do this here We'll try something a little tricky. We'll do the night witch with the sparky push I do have the bat, so they actually just got destroyed by the minions. <laughs> Those are not tournament level minions. Oh yeah, maybe they are. Oh god. Well, he's going hard. I'm going to lose my tower, man. Well, that's unfortunate, and probably my princess. So, these heavy waves that are over... They're freaking like level 10, dude. Like, I don't really... <sighs> this is going to be rough, that's all I'm trying to say. Don't... I, I can still come back, but just from that miniature push of spear goblins and whatever i'm already at less than half health on my king tower and this guy does have a zap so we're gonna have to tornado this like dude i'm just getting literally manhandled right now so all right take care of that elite barbarian awesome dude guys this one's gonna be rough the waves that the like i don't know guys i know i say this all the time but <laughs> how am i gonna deal with this man and he's gonna drop those minions probably on my Night Witch, so. Oh, even better. At least I got the princess going off right away. Fire spirits, okay, those might hurt. And I don't have enough for the graveyard. I need to do some sort of push. Um, he dropped the minions, okay. At least the princess should take care of them. We're getting no damage. Absolutely nothing done. Okay, there we go. At least we get a little bit now. Man, guys, this is uh proving to be Super, super tough. We're probably gonna get a Leap Barbarian rushed here or something. Jeez, man. Forcing my hand with my Electric Wizard. Electric Wizard? <laughs> Electro Wizard, sorry. Saying like the proper verbiage for it. Okay, well. These minions are finally not gonna be. Okay, my princess is fine too. Oh, uh, what do I wanna do? I'm gonna drop the Inferno Dragon along with the graveyard. And we'll see what he tries to do here. Literally, I have no options. Like this is my, I get one more push basically. And I think I just messed it up. My spark is too slow. Yeah, I, I, I just could not deal with this stuff. Uh, I think I just had a bad match up there, to be completely honest. So, unfortunate, but we're getting rolling now. I just really, I don't know, man. Like, it just happens some games. If you if you guys are new to the level one series, literally, it just happens some games you literally cannot do anything. Um, and I'll, I'll show you. Even though I battled, like, a similar battle deck and I won, it was another level 10 and everything. Um, I don't know. It just depends on how the person plays, how, they, how aggressive they are, because I don't really deal well with hordes of troops. Like, but what killed me, basically, was that 
that, that goblin gang, but it is what it is. We'll see if we can continue our legendary streak. See what we get. Hopefully we get like another new legendary, like the lumberjack, because that's the last legendary that I would need. Oh my god! <laughs> Level one with all legendaries, dude. So we got the Night Witch and the Lumberjack in this video. Dude, we have every legendary. All right, well, I don't know the best way to incorporate. I'm gonna have to go over some strategies maybe to incorporate these legendaries. But since we tried to lighten the, the Night Witch and we lost with it, we'll try it with the Lumberjack. I'm gonna have to make a specific battle deck with the Night Witch, I think. Um, I don't really know the best way to utilize her just yet. Uh, I could take out, I don't know. She's very, very good, but in my battle deck, I'm trying to think. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out maybe in next video. I don't, I don't really know, but we got the Night Witch and the Lumberjack, dude. That is so awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm really, I think the Lumberjack will be very helpful because it's, it's good against Hog Riders, it's good against Elite Barbarians. Uh, it's very good to do, it, it works well with the Graveyard. So, all good, all good stuff right there. Now I actually have my Princess to deal with waves right off the start. That's going to be very helpful. <laughs> All right, slow start, we'll do Sparky. If he decides to push this, we can tornado it to the middle. Okay. Oof. Where's my Electro Wizard? Because that's going to be a nuisance to deal with. The uh, the Inferno Drag. I'm actually going to drop Skeleton Army. This might be coming back to haunt me, but... Dude, I, I really need to. Boom. Get off that Sparky. Will my Sparky get a shot off? I don't think so. Well, it did, but not on the tower. So, minions again, I hate, at least it's not the minion horde. The minion horde's a little bit trickier to deal with, to be completely honest, but he's got poison. I don't know. This one, at least we didn't like just get destroyed right off the start. Uh, I guess now I can actually, like this is nice. I can actually use a lumberjack to take care of him and go for a graveyard here. Whereas before I wouldn't really be able to do that push and capitalize off of bad mistakes or something like that. Ooh, he's enraging his... Oh, that's my rage. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not used to having the rage. I was like, he's enraging his defensive barbarians when he actually wasn't. And our graveyard took care of the elite barbarians fairly nicely. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is probably once this thing hits my tower, just tornado it tornado it right in the middle there. So then it's not even, not even dangerous whatsoever. So push over here, the Sparky. So good opening start here. Uh, honestly... I feel as though the Lumberjack is going to be probably a more impactful card for me to use. I'll try and incorporate the Night Witch, like I said before, somehow. Give me some suggestions. Now that I have like all the legendaries, what do you guys think? Uh, we'll drop Skeleton Army. We know he has that. We know he has the, the Zap. I'm trying to use it on that Skeleton Army, which he actually didn't. Misplaced the Barbarians. We got so much value on that. Oh my goodness. Okay, he did use the Zap correctly there. Trying to get my Sparky to go. But what? Ooh, and we got a tower damage there? Awesome. But I don't really know what this guy's like wind condition is. Yeah, okay, there it is. The P.E.K.K.A. We know it now. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll do it on the Skeleton Army. He's got that poison, so that's gonna actually... That's pretty good. But we'll continue our rampage on this on this side over here. Once we get that ten, oh, 9 elixir, actually. We'll do the graveyard with the Lumbo Jack. Boom. Get that going. Oh my god, our, our our Sparky got shot off, but it actually got melted very, very quickly. Well, let's do double Inferno Dragons. We got this one. Alright, throw on the Skeleton Army. Will we get the Three Crown? I don't think so, unless those Skeletons go ham. It's telling you guys. It basically, here, here's what it boils down to. If I can usually stop their opening push and counter it very well, like I did this game, the match is very easy. If I, or it's a... I have a good chance of winning. If it's not, and like I get, I, I, I don't have the right cards to stop it, or it's just like not a good matchup, then I'll lose, like you guys saw before. So open these free chests though, see if we get anything crazy, no. <laughs> are you serious, man? Are you kidding me? Ooh, we just got a crown chest legendary with the lumberjack. I should open my crown chest first to see if I got a legendary out of it. You, but you can tell by my reaction, I was not expecting that whatsoever. <laughs> oh my god, I got asked by someone, what are your tips getting free legendaries if you're a free-to-play player? 
um well you guys know how you sometimes get gems from the free chest save those up as much as possible save it up till you get like 500 gems so then if you do get an offer for a legendary chest you have enough gems to buy it hopefully by saving those up and then always log on every four hours eight hours whatever to get your free chest then get your daily crown chest that's the best way because you guys see me get legendaries a lot of my accounts that's because like every day i'm cycling and logging on to each account to get the free chest and then getting the crown chest as well usually but oh my god so we got the crown chest legendary as a level one which was a lumberjack the one that we literally just got previously from the super magical and then now we have the night witch from the super magical so we have literally every legendary just just let that sink in for a little while that's crazy the only card we do not have obviously is like the bats coming soon and the heal at arena 10. so there's really no excuse for me now except for maybe that the season reset as to why i can't get like at least 2900 trophies might be a struggle to get to 3000 but dude that's insane this video is crazy can we get a like guys that is literally insane Especially the struggles I had earlier recording this video. I thought it was going to be a total bust, like my, something was wrong with my computer, but completely fine now. All right. Interesting start. We'll give him the thumbs up. Usually you don't see an Inferno Tower dropped. Dropped right away. Well, maybe you do. I, I just really don't encounter that often, but... Um... I should have pushed the other side, actually, because then that Inferno, that Inferno Tower would have been absolutely useless. Dumb mistake by me. My bad. Get our tornado ready. Oh no. Okay, well we'll try and get our Electro Wizard off of our Sparky, but he's still continuing to do it. At least we're getting Princess damage, that's nice. Ooh. Oh, I thought that Princess was gonna actually shoot. So I actually have to use the Electro Wizard. That's my really my only counter to that skeleton army right there. So I think I kind of misplayed that a little bit. Um tornado was not effective at all i thought like maybe i could tornado the wizard back or the electric wizard so it wouldn't basically so it, wouldn't, it would not like zap my sparky anymore oh god well we we encountered our worst card to deal with which is that minion horde i'll have to throw it on the lumberjack to deter that pekka come on kill the minions bro we're losing this tower level four pekka dude so so strong i think that'll even kill my tower is it is it gonna drop okay good <laughs> Well, we got our hands full. We do have our Inferno Dragon, which I didn't have the opportunity to drop it. We'll, we'll, we'll decide to push away from that Inferno Tower this time. But sadly, my I think my Sparky is basically just going to act as like a deterrent, like a, a tank kind of. Because he's got that Electric Wizard. So that's going to be pretty nasty. And I actually did not mean to drop that right there. So... Let's see if he takes out our... Ooh, I'm sitting on Elixir, boys and girls. I'm sorry. I don't know what to drop. Okay. We're going to probably see the minion horde. This is going to be a risky drop by the skeleton. Oh, Jesus. Lumberjack, how you doing? Get in there, man. Get away from my tower, wizard. You're not getting tower damage. And just burning my tower. So we're going to... I'm going to make a decision to go lecture wizard over here with the graveyard this might come back to haunt me i think it will but i have to make moves otherwise i'm gonna lose i think i, I don't know guys i don't think i got this skeleton army that Ugh. dirty moves man gg bro that pekka and i don't know i just couldn't like get a push in there that lecture wizard basically just countered me pretty hard and it is what it is we'll get them next time like we're, we're win one we'll lose one we'll win one we'll lose one I've been back and forth so long i mean i know you guys are i'll make a dedicated video with the night witch level one using night witch soon so stay tuned for that we'll open up another super magical just because see if we can continue the legendary streak good start with the pekka and balloons all right we're gonna get another legendary <laughs> <laughs> three lumberjacks this video okay so you get them in bunches it seems like awesome well uh, let's see if i can make it make it a victory for you guys uh tonight i'll probably grind this to see if i can get like at least 2800 trophies get past this 2700s because my highest was like 2798 i think i was like two 
I was like two trophies away from uh, 2800, but well, I was gonna say something. I was norm normally I be super aggressive when someone drops an elixir collector, but that's only on my main account. Not so much when I'm down here. And hopefully we actually do not see the Electro Wizard again. The best counter to Sparky is another graveyard. So what we're gonna do is drop a graveyard so their Sparky gets distracted by our skeletons. But hopefully our Sparky survives. Which just does not look like it. It's gonna get destroyed by the skeletons. Oh, well, at least we have our Electro Wizard as backup plan. Oh no. We're gonna have to be really quick with this. We were we were not quick enough. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Whatever. It's it's all right. the The result was the same. We just lost a little bit of skeletons. It's all right. We survived. Uh, but I actually have to deal with this wizard. Oh my gosh. Balloon, how you doing? Well, that balloon's probably definitely gonna get to. I don't know if it'll destroy my tower, but it's definitely gonna get there. Or not. Okay. Well, that that's a plus. I thought for sure that thing was gonna do our tower. Well, at least we know what we're kind of facing right now. I could drop Sparky right in front of her, but... We'll, we'll just leave her how it is. I might tornado this. Nah. We'll do Sparky. I might tornado these together. That's my, what I might do. Not, it didn't even work. They were, they were too, like, backed up far enough. Or they weren't even backed up good enough. Well, we don't have the... We're gonna have to do this. I'll graveyard up here. Will it be in time? Mmm! We're both on the same page. Except for we're getting a little bit of tower damage in there. Nice. Boom. Come on, princess, shoot another one. Boom. Boom, take care of that Sparky. Awesome. Now, here's the trick, y'all. I'll lecture wizard all of that, and it will take care of the wizard and the balloon. And we are going to graveyard on this. Throw down our lumberjack, take care of that Valkyrie. Because obviously our Inferno Dragon, well, our Inferno Dragon did get there. But we'll tornado this stuff together so my princess can take care of it. Hopefully, and get tower damage. So basically we're doing like Princess Chip right now. That's what we got, that's what we're working with. Throw it on Electro Wizard to the side. Lumberjack on top of that. And then, okay. Graveyard actually is working decently versus Sparky because they're getting tower damage in there. And now I'm going to tornado this all together so my princess gets some tower damage in there too. Come on, one more shot. Nice. So, we'll hit him with a good game. Uh, my plan really didn't work when I was trying to tornado, or I mean not tornado, uh, graveyard on top of their Sparky. Uh, typically it does, but he had that skeleton army a few times and whatever else. So, hey. We got victories. I'm actually gonna save my gems now. We got the legendaries. Um, I'll do. I'll, we like basically we came what we asked for, or we got what we came for. <laughs> my bad for saying it wrong. <laughs> but whatever. I'm saving that giant chest though for those of you that are OCD or whatever. Um, I'm saving that giant chest for an all free chest from a level one. So I'm gonna do, need to cycle a lot of chests. I don't even really know if I'm close to any big ones like a legendary or super magical. Probably a couple hundred away. Maybe like 700 for my next legendary. I don't exactly know, but dude, furnace. Uh, oh no, no! Oh, Sparky survived. Okay, never mind. Our cheers go to rejoicing because. Oh, never mind. Um, I'll just do it. Why not? They'll be enraged, and he wasted quite a bit of elixir there. I still think we'll get a little bit of damage, but why is everyone running the freaking wizard, man? Literally everybody has the wizard in their battle deck. I, I don't know why. Maybe they just think he's super, super strong, which I get it. Takes care of a lot of things, but I cannot let him get to my tower, otherwise you would actually kill it. And another person with Valkyrie. Uh, Valkyrie is actually a really hard counter to Graveyard, and I don't want, I do not want you to kill my princess. She's going to though. Ooh, princess stayed alive by like 2 HP, you know, no big deal. Another furnace, okay. And my princess decides to lock onto that, not the... Hey, at least we got the arrows. 
Oh. Ben, you made a mistake. You know he has the rocket. Sorry, I completely forgot. Hopefully he doesn't have enough elixir, but I'm sure he does. Uh, at least he's not going to die. But he's just getting that free tower damage from me. Sorry, man. We're going to do Lumberjack Sparky, though. Make him waste arrows again, maybe. Okay, at least Sparky should get a shot off. Bam! Let's go! That's that's awesome. We're, we're going to get the tower while we can. Princess... Nice. So I don't, that was that that actually worked out perfectly fine. <laughs> you guys don't even. I'm not even gonna say what happened. Okay, what actually happened was I did not mean to drop the the tornado right there, and it actually still worked out okay there because he dropped a a hog rider that we tornadoed to the middle. Um, we'll throw Sparky right up front here. Graveyard. Uh, I want to throw my lumberjack right on that furnace. He missed the Inferno Dragon, though. Okay. Throw it on the Princess. I think we got this, guys. Our Inferno Dragon is locked on, and it's enraged. Good night. That's all she wrote, except for if we get Hog Rider or something right now. So we'll drop it on this. Tornado these bad boys together. Throw it on the Skeleton Army for that. And, uh... Good game. Good luck, man. Well, even sometimes you miss drop and it works out okay. I'm just happy that, well, we were going to lose that tower anyways, but we're up to 2,700, or 2,700 and, 2,767. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that was hard for me to say. <laughs> for whatever reason, I have a tough time saying, like, some numbers. If you guys ever watch the streams, I probably will be streaming soon, uh, doing a 100, or 10k tourney for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Um, but dude... In the streams, it's always a struggle. I don't know why it is. Like, I know how to say the numbers. It's just, like, I mess up sometimes. I'm sure you guys mess up at other things, too. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Pretty crazy that we got that Crown Chest Legendary. I was not expecting that. I do apologize for the issues in the beginning of the video. Um, don't really know what was up with the pretty expensive computer. But I cleared all the stuff, and it's working fine now. So, on that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like it, and don't forget to subscribe for more Clash Royale videos. And I'll see you guys later.